after retiring, you want to be able to take $1,000 every month out of your account for a total of 20 years from your retirement account. The account earns 6% interest. How much will you need in the account when you retire? So notice this is a different type of problem because we know we're taking money out every month. So this is every month. So this isn't a compound, this is not a compound interest problem. But we're taking money out. We're not putting money in. So we're not saving here. We're taking payments out of the account. And so this is what's called a payout, oops, a payout annuity. And the formula for this gives us not Pn, the amount we'll have in n years. Intel, instead, the formula tells us how much we need at the beginning in order to take out uh, a certain amount every month or year or whatever our time period is. And so the formula ends up looking like this. It has a lot of similarities to the savings annuity equation. That's because it is derived th very similarly to the savings annuity equation. And so D is our regular, is our regular withdraw, um, withdrawal amount. Uh, and everything else is the same as before. K is number of compounds or deposits or withdrawals in a, in a year. N is number of years, R is interest rate. P0 here is the amount at the start, right, at time 0, the amount at the beginning. So in this particular problem, we've got uh, P0 is what we're looking for. We don't know how much we want at the beginning. Do we know our regular withdraw amount? Yeah, we're going to withdraw $1,000 every month, so D is 1,000. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, 1 minus 1 plus R over K. So R is my interest rate, so that's 6%. K is the number of withdraws or compounds in a year. We're talking monthly here, so that'd be 12. To the negative uh, k, that's the number of compounds in a year, times the number of years n, which is 20, and all of that is divided by 0.06 over 12. So now we just need to evaluate this. Uh, and so let's do some simplifying first. We'll go ahead and say, Let's see here, 0.06 over 12 is 0.005. So that's going to be 1 plus 0.005. 12 times 20 is 240. Uh, and then all of this is over 0.005. Okay, so now let's go to our calculator. So I know that I need to start by doing the exponent. So 1.005 raised to the power of. Now this part's going to differ a little bit based on your calculator. Some calculators you put the negative before the number. On this calculator and on a lot of scientific calculators, you put in the 240 and then hit this plus or minus key to change the sign of the number. So now I'm raising to the negative 240th power. Hit equals and that's going to give me the value of this part. Now, again, if we can av avoid rounding, all the better. But this is going to be a little hard here, so I'm just going to note that all of this part ends up being uh, point, what was it, point 0.302, right? So now when I come back to my calculator, I can say, okay, so I need to take 1 minus that. So 1 minus point 0.302 is 0.698. I need to multiply that by 1,000, and I need to divide by 0.005. And that's going to give me, so P0, we just figured out was 139,600. So you would need $139,000, $139,600 in the account in order to be able to take out $1,000 every month for 20 years.